So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and save your Google search history on your iPhone, meaning that particularly when you're going through and searching for things on Google, it's either not saving your searches or something like that's going on. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and make your way over to google.com on your internet browser that you're using. It doesn't matter which one, you can go on any one. And what you want to do here is if you're logged into an account, you want to click on the top right corner right here. If you're not, you should be able to click on the top left corner for the three lines. If not, you can click on the top right corner and you're going to come into this page. Now, what you want to do here is you want to go and find this little panel and option right here that says search history. So all you want to do is tap on to search history and then this next page is going to come up. Now within this next page, what's going to happen is it's going to go and tell you exactly where your particular you know, information is being saved to. So you can see a bunch of different things, all the different things that have Googled or whatever. But right here, what you can do is you can click saving to web activity and whatever. So you can tap here and you can get an idea of where it's basically saving your web activity to. So you can turn any of these on or off depending on what you want to do. But the big thing here is right here where it says auto delete off, you want to make sure this auto delete is not off. You want to make sure this is on. So tap right into there and that way any of your results will not automatically delete. So that's another thing you can try doing as well. Now clicking out of here, as long as this is on and it doesn't say that it's off, that's another thing. Now, if you want to see all your Google search history at that point, you can just scroll down and you can start seeing all your Google searches basically coming up at the very bottom. So that is kind of how to do it. You can see all your Google searches coming up underneath here. So if for some reason they're missing there, they might show up there. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.